Hello Geminis, welcome to your horoscope for February 2024. So we have, there's a big spotlight on the month on your ninth house, so that's the house of travel, it's the house, it's, it's a psychic house, it's also a house of learning, education too. So you do have Mercury going in there on the sixth of the month, so that's going to be um, just a little like a highlight or focus in this area, whether you're starting a new course, workshop, thinking about studying something, um, teaching that area, whether or not you're getting more downloads, like spirit, um, psychic stuff, there's a lot of things happening. Um, that Mercury, which is our mind, so it's like communication, moving into that house on the 6th, 14th, so it's in Valentine's Day, Mars is going to be in there, it might give you a bit of strength, a bit of a push and so to go in this area. 17th we're going to have venus in there as well so it's a fun aspect and then on the 23rd mercury will then move out of that ninth house and go into your 10th house which is your career so be thinking more about your work and um, your work and your career at that time um when we look at the car i think we've also got uh, the 11th house in aries so there is a conjunction around the 14th um, where it's going to be the node and Chiron meeting up together, conjuncting in that 11th house. That's the house of friends. The node is about your destiny, it's your, it's your life purpose, life lessons. The Chiron's about that um, emotional wound, that deep pain there. So it could be things coming up and questioning sort of things about um, life path and destiny and what's going on. So um, just be aware of that happening there in the middle of the month too. So let's go with the cards here. You're definitely going to your own beat. You're being very individual this month here, Geminis. I feel like there's a sense of abundance or something happening, files or multiplying around you. Sense of you also wanting peace. Sense of you growing as you're growing, you're heightening your awareness. You're very focused on you or there's something you're very focused on where other things around you won't seem to matter as much. I feel like... Interesting card. I feel like that there's a uniqueness of reaching a certain height with something. We're going to a new level, could be a new career, a new job. There's something about on a different, even it could be a sense of like a different world, different planet. There's something unique and it's going to happen with you for this month. I do feel like talking is going to be a big thing for you this month. And I know you are a son that likes to talk and chatter and you're very good at that you're a good networker but there's also obviously there's very like a lot of like uniqueness that's coming out for this month okay i feel like it's like you might think work is blossoming around you but it could be a lot of things happening where it even feels like it's even too much um as i say busy but there's a sense of you, even though it's so busy, it's going to be quite intense. You've got a lot on your plate. But there's a sense that you can handle it, handle it like you've got this. You know exactly what to do. You're you're moving in that right direction. You're, there is good leadership qualities that you're needing to have and to share this um, for this month. There's a lot of there's a lot that you're pulling. So there's a lot that you've got going on here with your work. Um, you're even like helping or we sense that you're you're doing all the work and you're pulling someone else along too. So just be aware that you might be over, overcompensating for someone else as well, where they're taking it the easy same time off and you're having to put in twice as much effort in. But there's a sense that you're getting it done, like you're achieving these really big things and great results too with that as well. I feel like there's a sense of being like notability that's also coming in around you as well. I feel like there with um, relationships, like you might be stuck or someone's stuck in the friend zone. Um, or even if you're in a relationship for a long time, like you're still kind of like the relationship's kind of frozen or it's, it's stuck, but I get like a, some sort of friend zone. I also sense that there's could be a sense of being watched, so it's maybe you're starting a relationship with someone and they're watching you on social media or looking at you, but there's, there's a sense of being watched as well. I feel like there's a sense of using your senses, your intuition very closely with relationships too, um, this month around you as well. It's like if you feel it, just be aware of your intuition that's coming up too. There is a sense of with family that's 
like it's like there's a an evolution that's happening like something's evolving here it's kind of like this one drawing out my attention where something maybe when you first got something it wasn't that great but then it's changed into something that's magical or something that's quite good like, like the ugly duckling when i see a swan to me it's that that ugly duckling i feel like also with home there's a sense of you can't really see what's happening and you're, you're trying to like fix any renovations or fix something you can't really see it yet but what started as a, as a project that wasn't that great has is coming along really really well but you just can't see the outcome of it just yet also i feel like you're feeling pulled back with family stuff you wanting to really move forward but since being pulled back into old stories or other things um there could be such like arguments but people taking sides as well i feel like though that it also feels like everything's getting too hot hot under the collar too hot and that could do with siblings too let's look at um these cards are very interesting cards okay money okay i want to say you're using your money or your wealth for it could be a sense of like investing something some sort of investing something new or spiritual or something that you believe in there could be a sense of like giving your money away to certain like spiritual things as well be careful of your money be careful of scams i thought be careful of certain scams this month for you guys um because i feel like it, cause sometimes it's too good to be true let's have a look for your ninth house hmm. there's some sort of opening for those who are studying there could be a sense of a shy like a fox around you or shyness there's also a sense of something new that's opening up for you as well there could be a sense of going on a holiday in some sort of like asian-y country or asian-y place as well i feel like you could be looking at the different religions different spirituality things as well it could, be, could also be coming in for you for this month i feel like when it comes to friends it's like we've got plenty or we don't have enough there's these two so it's like no it's not balanced it's one or the other it's like we have plenty or not enough when it comes to friends this, this month um well okay that we do have a lot of friends but we sort of feel like we're alone in it that we're really different as well i want to be careful your sinuses this month i'm not a doctor but careful sinuses or colds and flus this month for you um for gemini it's like a bit sinusy as well i also feel like you're really looking at um protecting your mind or protecting your thoughts so there is protection also coming up here too but there is also a sense that you're being quite also quite stubborn as well okay so thank you for your likes shares and your comments and i'll see you for my next video so bye for now